What is up guys, Stark here. I am back for day 19 of the 25 Days of Fate. And in today's video, we have one of the bigger videos. And that is going to be for the Welfare Servant video calendar for 2021. Now I guess in the grand scheme of things, it's not going to be that big of a video. But when I say big, I mean like a really important video for you guys to watch for the, the what, which Welfare Servants we're going to be getting for 2021. So in my opinion, I think the lineup for Welfare Servants is actually going to be really good for this year. And I think 2021 on a whole is going to be a fantastic year for new players. And like there's so much good stuff coming out in 2021. So we have the Welfare video today and I'm putting the finishing touches on the actual banner calendar for the 2021 year. So that'll be coming out either tomorrow or the day after. Uh, so definitely make sure you guys keep an eye on that because that's a big video. It's, it's a lot to get through there. Um, but for now, we're strictly talking about events. And we're going to kick off 2021 in January with the return of Chloe. So Chloe, in my opinion, is one of, if not the best event character in the game. And, you know, it, it was a while before she actually came back. Uh, so definitely make sure you guys go ahead and pick up Chloe if you don't have Chloe. Uh, she was one of the earlier event characters, and she never got like a yearly rerun like most events did. Uh, so there's a good chance that a lot of players in the game don't have her right now. Uh, so it was a really good opportunity for players to go ahead and grab Chloe, level her up, and all of that. Uh, but do keep in mind that this is her rerun, so um, good chance that not going to see her again. Although I guess Japan's doing something really different with events where they bring them back. Uh, we'll talk about it a little bit more in a second, but um, I wouldn't risk it. Go ahead and get Chloe. She's fantastic. Another thing to note, I guess, is that um, throughout the entire year, you'll be able to rack up all of the classes for wel Welfare Servants for like the, main, the main classes and then one for an extra class. Uh, so if you are a free-to-play player or if you are a new player, then by doing the events this year, you'll at least be able to get at least one decent welfare servant for each of the main classes in the game. So moving on to February, we do have the rerun of BB's event. So BB is going to be the extra class here as a moon cancer. So obviously BB is <laughs> the only moon cancer in the game for NA. Uh, so you definitely want to go ahead and get her. Her summer character does come back again this year as well if you did want that. But yeah, uh, BB is another really good character as well, and her event is also coming back as a rerun, so this will be the second chance to get her. Now on JP, they did bring back the event in a really weird way with, um, I guess like it was like an interlude or a rank up or something happened where they brought back BB's event a third time, and you had to like do the quests and unlock the stuff in the, the shop to buy like the copies with, with mana prisms or... It was weird. I really don't know exactly what it is. I don't play Japan that much, but I did do the event on Japan. So, you know, there is hope for people who do miss out on the rerun of the character that they'll come back eventually in the form of that. I think you buy the copies in the shop. You, you do the event, get one copy. It's like a really like watered down version of the event. But yeah, um, <laughs> just save yourself the trouble and just go ahead and do BB's event now whenever it comes out, which should be an expected release of February for 2021 for us. And then we're going to go ahead and skip March and go into April. And we have, we actually have two event servants coming out in April. But the first one is going to be the rerun of Sakamoto Ryoma's event. So Sakamoto is a writer, so he'll fill that void for you there. Uh, another really good character. Uh, I mean, honestly, pretty much every character in this event is going to be really good. Um, but there are some really like top tier level servants. Uh, so Ryoma is a really good character as well. He'll be coming out in April, and once again, this is going to be a rerun event. So no new servants yet, but, you know, do make sure you go ahead and get these characters if you haven't already. And, you know, honestly, even if you do have the characters, go ahead and get them anyway, because uh, Fate implemented the rare Mana Prism stuff for the event servants. So by getting the extra copies of the event servants, you'll be able to get rare Mana Prisms, which is pretty awesome right there. So if for nothing else, you should be doing that to get the rare Mana Prisms. And then late April, we will actually be getting our first new event character for 2021, and that is going to be the Assassin Grey. So this event comes out with like the 
I guess it came out with the release of the Detective Waiver case files in uh, the anime form. Now, it's kind of got shuffled around a little bit for NA because we're actually getting, well, we actually already got the release of the Blu-rays. So, I don't know if they're going to make this earlier or not. Maybe they'll switch it with, with Chloe. Um, I'm not expecting that to happen, though. I, I'm assuming it'll just come out around the same time as it did on JP. We just won't have, like, the anime event to go with it because it's already out. I mean, I guess that really doesn't matter for us because, you know, we've seen the anime already, so we don't really need to worry about it. But regardless, we're going to get our first new character, presumably in April. So then we are going to take a two-month break for event characters. So May and June will have... No event characters for us, but in July we are going to get another new Welfare Servant, and this will be a Lancer, and it's going to be Kagetora. So this is the final Gouda Gouda event, even though it's not actually the final Gouda Gouda event. Uh, but you do get a new Lancer here who's actually going to be a really good character. So definitely make sure you pick her up. It'll be the first run for her, so if you do miss it, you do have the chance to get it next year. And then also in July, we do have another one, and it's going to be the rerun of last year's summer event, and this will give you the Summer Jolter, who is, in my opinion, a fantastic welfare servant. She is really, really powerful. She's basically a glass cannon, but she could do some really good damage, and she has a really good kit, and it's Jolter, so you definitely should be going after her for that. Then in August, we have the Welfare Hokusai, who's going to be a Saber. And in my opinion, this event is really, really cool. Um, I don't really want to talk too much about details and stuff, but I do think everyone should be farming this event. This is like a fantastic way to get uh, quantum pieces outside of lottery events. So definitely, definitely participate in this event. And Hokusai is a fantastic character. Uh, she's a really cool character. And, you know, if you missed out on her five-star character, at least you can get her in her saber form. And I think that might be a big draw for a lot of people. But she is, I don't know what other four-star saber welfare servants are there. I can't really think right now. Um, but I guess there's Elizabeth. Anyway, Hokusai, yeah, I was going to say Hokusai is one of the better four-star welfare servants for sabers. But she might actually be the best if I'm not missing somebody when I think about it. Uh, she's better than Saber Lily. She's better than Elizabeth. Um, are those the only two event servants? I think those are the only two welfare servants for Saber class. Anyway, I could be missing something. I'm just thinking a bit about this on the top of my head. Hokusai is really good, so make sure you get her. And then in October, we do have the rerun of the Shoot and Doji event, which will give us the four-star caster of Shoot and Doji. Uh, this one might be really fresh in a lot of people's memories because it just went away recently. So, I guess for people who missed it or for newer players who haven't had the opportunity to do it yet, uh, then, you know, it should be something you, you should be doing. But most people who are watching this video probably already have Shoot and Doji, so this should be a rare Mana Prism event for a lot of people. And then finally, to round off the year, in November we are having a new Christmas event, and this is going to give us the Archer Nightingale. So, this is... Uh, Basically, Nightingale just takes the form of Mary Poppins here, and it'll be another Christmas event, another lottery, so it'll be something for us to do at the end of the year to get some last-minute grinding in before the year turns over. Um, and definitely, with, with all the servants that are coming out in 2021, there's definitely going to be a lot of farming needed for a lot of these servants to level them all up, so definitely make sure you farm this lottery. And, yeah, um, the only other thing I really need to say here is that... The Ruler Christmas event for this year probably won't be coming back. I guess if, if NA is lucky, maybe we will be able to squeeze it in. Um, I don't think that's going to happen, but I guess, you know, you can never say never with this thing. Um, but yeah, that is going to be the welfare calendar for 2021. So really good characters, really good lineup in my opinion. Probably one of the better lineups for, you know, a year in particular. Um, is a little low on the count you know only having nine welfare servants in the year is a little low usually they do you know 10 11 12 13 something like that uh so nine nine's a little bit low but on the the flip side you know the banner characters that we are getting this year are going to be really good so 
And there are a bunch of other events sprinkled in throughout the year. Like, off the top of my head, I can think of Kama's event, which is going to be coming out in, I believe, March. Uh, so that does give us, like, something to do during March. It's not like it's going to be a dead year. By any means, it's probably going to be, like, one of the heaviest years in Fate. Um, I can't really say the same about 2022, but, you know, that'll be for next year's video. But for 2021, you know, it's going to be a really busy year for a lot of people. And there's going to be a lot of good stuff to get. You know, we also do get... Um, I think we get two story chapters as well next year, so there's a lot to do. Uh, so just unfortunately, I guess they just couldn't squeeze in any more Welfare Servants, but we still got a really good list of Welfare Servants. Like Chloe, fantastic, like one of the best characters in the game for Welfare Servants. Even even outside of that, she's she's an amazing character. Um, Summer Jalter is really good, Hokusai is really good. So yeah, I mean they're all really good characters in my opinion. BB as a Moon Cancer, you definitely want to make sure you get BB as the Moon Cancer. Just so you can have a wound cancer on your team. So yeah, guys, um, that's the welfare calendar for 2021. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. And if you did, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, I do have the links below to my Twitter, Twitch, Patreon, and Discord. So make sure you check that out. Make sure you check out the 25 Days of Fate Christmas giveaway video. Because that is rounded down the, the time for that. There's only a couple more days left to, uh, to check that out and get all the details for the stream i will be posting the details for the time of the stream probably monday so in two days time i'll either make a video for it all or post it on twitter or in my discord so make sure you guys are there and check that out um i definitely want you guys to be there for the stream i want you guys to i want as many people there as possible as many entries as possible and if i get my times correctly uh, we should still have some time left on the lottery so i i'll be farming like last minute lottery farming all day on Christmas, not, maybe not all day, but for a good majority of Christmas day, I'll be farming lottery. So I hope to see you guys there for that. But until then, I hope you did enjoy this video and I'll see you guys tomorrow.